Occupational therapists work with people of all ages to help them engage in the everyday activities that they need to do and that they want to do. And we do this through the therapeutic use of everyday activities or occupations. A number of factors make the program at Maryville stand out. I think uh, the primary one is our involvement in the community. We have our students engage in a number of different types of activities as part of the educational process that gets them involved with different community agencies. We've gone and worked with kids before and so you get to do something with them and at the end they're like, oh I had so much fun, are you going to come back? And so it's just really cool to see that it does have an impact. A number of the courses in the occupational therapy program have labs situated with them. Our labs involve students learning to do the activities that occupational therapists do. So our labs are about how do you get in and out of a wheelchair uh, successfully. Our labs are about how do you make a split. Uh, we have a technology lab where we learn how to change the settings of a computer so that a person with a disability can use it more readily. We also work with our a little occupational therapy apartment in which we learn the different adaptive equipment that you could use for someone to, to use at home like you know, uh, kitchen tools, uh, dressing tools. Last year we had a class that focused on splinting and so we would go to the lecture and learn about it and what this kind of splint does and why you would use it and then we would get to go into the lab and make one. And so that was a really valuable experience because it's real life. It's not just, well I think I could do this and this is the steps that you would take. It was implementing it and really getting to see the final result. And another, I think, unique aspect of our program is that we rely heavily on the use of technology to facilitate learning. All students in the occupational therapy program receive an iPad and we use it extensively throughout the curriculum. In occupational therapy, our students complete both level one and level two field work. Level one field works are typically one week experiences um, where they go out and work for a week within some form of setting where occupational therapists work. Our level twos are more formalized. Those are two 12 week experiences where students are basically working full time on developing their clinical skills. I did uh, shadow a pediatric occupational therapist. So that gave me a little insight into how pediatrics works. And um, we're, we've been learning a lot about what the different fields are, which has made me love occupational therapy more. Occupational therapists work in a wide variety of areas. Many people think of the medical settings first, hospitals, clinics, in and out patient centers, but we also work with people in their homes as part of home health. It's a cool feeling because to us and to someone who is typically developing or normal, it's so easy. Oh, well, you get dressed, you put one arm in and then the other, you know, you put your socks on and then your shoes, but to some people that's a you know, two hour process and so the fact that we can come in and do it and give them the tools and the strategies to do it themselves in a shorter amount of time so they can get on to the other things they need to do, that's just awesome and it makes me feel so good because they just they can live their lives the way they want to.